friends. I am on vacation and there's all these really cute books. And this one is called When Dad Cuts Down the Chestnut Tree by Pam Ayers and Graham Piercy. And I decided I had to read it to you. So when dad cuts down the chestnut tree, he'll make such things for you and me. A rocking horse to ride all day, a fort where all my soldiers stay. A wheelbarrow painted blue and a faithful duck on wheels for you. Stilts to make us very tall, colored blocks to build a wall. When the tree is on the ground, all my friends will come around. On the trunk, we'll jump and climb. We will have a lovely time. No more tearing jacket sleeves and no more sweeping up the leaves. And when I'm tucked into my bed, kisses kissed and goodnight said. The tree won't scare me anymore when the night wind makes it roar. If there wasn't any tree, what difference would it make to me? No tree house, that's the worst of all to hide in when we hear our mom call. No cool places in the shade when we have run and jumped and played. No leaves to kick and throw about and roll each other in and shout. No sticks to find on chilly days to make our winter fires blaze. And there is another thing. What will happen to our swing? Where will owl and squirrel stay if the tree is hauled away? If the tree is really gone, what can I hang my birdhouse on? Suddenly, we're not so sure we want it cut down anymore. Trees are special, large or small. So dad, don't cut it down at all. The end. And there's the tree. One of my favorite spots growing up was a big old tree swing at my grandparents' farm. So I like that book. They saved the tree. I'll see you again soon, friends. Bye-bye.